I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking about an overview specifically of sequences. In problem number 33, uh, we have uh, this closed form for a sequence. So we have a sub n is equal to 1 over 10 to the nth power. All right, for n equals 1, 2, 3, and so on. Uh, what we'd like to do in this problem is, first of all, let's find the first four terms of the sequence, a1, a2, a3, and a4. And then we'd like to say, if this thing seems to converge, let's say what we think it converges to. If this thing diverges, explain why it diverges. Okay, so let's take a look at this guy and see what we think. So if we have, uh, first of all, we want to find a1, a2, a3, and a4. Okay, a1, I just plug in 1 for n, and I get 1 over 10 to the first, or just 1 over 10. For a2, I plug in 2 for n, and I get 1 over 10 squared, which is 1 over 100. For a3, I plug in 3 for n, and I get 1 over 10 cubed, or 1 over 1,000. And then finally, I plug in 4 for n, and I get 1 over 10 to the fourth, or 1 over 10,000. Okay, so I've got the first four terms of this sequence, and now I'd like to say, okay, is this going anywhere? Well, what can I see when I look at this sequence so far? One tenth, one hundredth, one thousandth, one ten thousandth. These things are getting very, very small. And as this number gets bigger and bigger, they get smaller and smaller. Where are they going? Well, these things seem to be converging on the number zero. So they're getting small, they're going to zero. So we think the limit of this sequence uh, is zero, okay? Uh, so that's what these types of problems are asking you to do is let's take a look at a little bit of the sequence and then see if we can recognize where it's going. If it's going somewhere, what's it going to? If it's not going anywhere, explain why you can tell it's not going anywhere. <laughs> 